Hi guys and welcome back to the survival project. In the last episode we built up this awesome bridge. I did it in a bit of a more tutorial style so if you want to find out how to build it and all of that sort of stuff just jump on back to the last episode. I'll put an iCard up in the screen. I really love the way that it's come out and I think it's looking really great and it serves perfectly to get us from one side to the other. Now this project has been taking quite a bit of time. Uh, I've actually just uploaded two videos today from this project uh, basically I had a bit of an issue with my internet couldn't upload for about a week so I had two episodes recorded so I, I put them both up for one day but I really really want to get this project completed and I'm thinking I might just put the time in today because a lot of what I'm doing here doesn't really take too long to do so that means that I am going to be pretty busy and I'm going to be getting large chunks of work done before jumping back in with a progress update for you but I think that should be okay so I think I'm gonna start off by focusing on this area over here I'll get all of that section done and then I'll jump back in with a little progress update for you afterwards we will then start coming around this side and then we'll finally finish off around here and that should be pretty much the entirety of this little panda sanctuary complete we can then finally release our pandas and our little baby one's grown up fully now which is really cool um yeah the only other thing i need to do is work out a way to light all of this up i've got some pretty good ideas for what i want to be doing for the different sections it's just lighting is the issue i could just use green carpet and put torches underneath that would work fine um it might be worth exploring some other techniques we can use though but yeah i am gonna get started over here i've got a load of bits that i need to gather up and then i can get going we've made a hell of a lot of progress here uh, i've come right away round up to this sort of bamboo forest line i did extend it out a little bit but i didn't add any more of the pods in because i kind of decided that i thought it would look pretty cool just on the green grass there it is a bit thinner than that section there and yeah, we've added loads and loads of grass and just random bits of life into this section. Originally, I was going to make this really dense with trees, but I kind of decided against it a little bit. I wanted to keep it a little bit more open. So I do want to find a way to block this off, as I said before. Uh, and this just means if we do have any pandas sort of wandering around here, if we walk up to this sort of bit of the fence in the net, we'll actually be able to see them. We've got the jungle fence posts here just acting as dry bamboo, which looks really cool. I put in a little fallen tree over here, much like the design we've got for the bridge over there. And yeah, I think that's a pretty neat little touch. I built up this big old tree in the corner here. Uh, it does sort of disappear into everything else. But that's kind of the point of this area. I wanted it to be really dense with vegetation. Um, and yeah, I, I love the way that it looks. Uh, shall we get airborne? I don't have any rockets on me at the moment. Uh, give me a sec, I'll just go grab some. So from the air, this is what it's sort of looking like at the moment. We haven't touched this area at all yet. Uh, that's going to be the next bit I'll do. I'm going to sort out that ridge and I'm going to sort this area out over here. And we will check in again just after that. But yeah, I really, really think this is coming together fantastically. It's coming out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, and yeah, I'm just really happy with the sort of overall look. And we did not make that jump at all. More professional Minecrafting for you guys. But yeah, I love the design of this tree. I did a little bit of work on the outside here as well. So we chucked a load of flowers there and we got just some leaves and grass going on there but let's see if we can land up here and get a bit of a better look at this tree yeah it's, it's still kind of hard to see there is a lot of plant life going on here but i think you really get a good atmosphere and a really good feeling while you're down on ground level and sort of just walking around and that now i imagine at night i've not let it become night while i've been here uh, i imagine at night this is a real mob fest so we, we've definitely got to work on that lighting before we release the pandas so that's high up on the list of things to do i've continued adding some of this path in and around the place um i added in this little dip down bit but actually i think i'm just going to get rid of it do i have any more of them yes i do 
Uh, yeah, because I just didn't really like the way that that felt. So we've got this coming round here, and I have plotted out a few other little areas of it. So sort of like coming along there. I started doing a little bit of work over here, but I think I did that before I even started this episode off, to be totally honest. Anyway... There is going to be a lot more of the same sort of stuff going on, so I am going to do another huge chunk of this and then jump back in. I might get rid of these orange flowers, I've not decided yet. I think down here, in this corner, I might keep it a little bit clearer, uh, just because it then gives the pandas a bit of an area that's going to be a little bit more open. I think that could be pretty cool as well, almost like a sleeping area I suppose. And another thing I've been thinking about, because we've still got the two foxes roaming around in here. Or at least one. I can still see one all the time. Yeah, see, he's he's just there. I don't know what's happened to the other one. Um, I think I might have scared him off. See if we can spy him. I'm, I'm sure he'll be about somewhere. He's named, so he could be anywhere on the island now. He's just gone for a little run around. But yeah, what I was thinking, if I could get through this bamboo again was maybe here I could open this up and create like a little fox hole inside it that could be a pretty nice idea a little fox den uh, it's not going to be anything massive so I've actually got some stone on me which is great so we could just sort of come around like this and then if they want to come inside they can come inside and that is all cool and yeah this is literally in fact we've done it that didn't take long just a little bit of block placement and we have a nice little fox den. Nice. And I'm sure they'll appreciate this. Uh, I'll turn this into cobblestone or something and yeah, and then that's that set up. And maybe do a little bit of variation on this. Uh, that could also help that look quite a bit better. Anyway, right, next section. I've got the next bit done now. So we've come along and filled everything out all of the way around. And yeah, as I say, this new section is quite a lot clearer than everywhere else. But that's kind of exactly what we want. We kept the bamboo coming out a little bit more in this direction. I've got the leaves set down on the floor there coming along to make it sort of like a an area where the pandas can sort of like lay down and sleep. And I just made it so that this was like a heavily trodden area. Uh, you know, given that this is where they're going to be sleeping, I imagine it's... Somewhere they're going to be walking around quite a lot. Basically, there's just a lot of grass around this bit. Um, once we break them out of here, we'll turn this section here into the path block as well. Uh, we've got another little custom tree going on there. It looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty much the same design that I've been using anyway. And I've kind of just been going along doing all of this sort of stuff. Breaking down all of the red plants as we go because I don't really like them. Uh, we've come up the hills away as well, so we come all the way up here. We've got leaves going all the way along the outside here, which I think really makes the river look pretty, pretty cool. I really like it, actually. Um, I think going forward in any river designs that I make now, adding leaves along the edge of it just really helps. Obviously, horses for courses, it's not going to work in every situation, but in this situation, it does work. Right, it has hit night time again, so I'm going to need to sleep, and we are going to get this very last section done. Now, this bit I am going to keep very, very clear, um, so it is really going to be more of the same. It's kind of why I've decided to just jump in and do the whole thing, because it's really not taking me very long to get these bits done. Though, having said that, I am running low on a few of the resources that I would prefer to use so i need to get hold of some more mossy cobblestone uh, and get some of that scattered about the place as well and yeah i need ferns ferns is what i really need because i think ferns make a really big difference uh in this sort of a thing but i'm gonna have to move all of this stuff out as well soon um which is gonna be a little bit irritating because of these chests but i've got no one to blame but myself i really need to just knuckle down and sort my storage system out and then that's not really going to be such a problem so yeah I, i'm not sure what i really want to do with this i know I, I do want to keep it open because i want there to be a view of our little man-made waterfall thing going on there and all of that and see this is what i was saying this area is just a mob it's just going to be a mob spawner on the island. 
a lot of the caves underneath here are probably lit up from where I've done a load of exploring around and that underground. So yeah, anyway, before it gets too rough out here, I'm going to fly off and sleep somewhere and then I'm going to get this done and we'll take a look at what's going on. Okay, so I think we are done now. What I've basically done is just added a load of this sort of broken down pathway that we've had and just kept this area really, really clear. Now, I've been going around with glowstone and green carpet trying to light things up as best as I can. So the area is a little bit safer, but it's still still going to be a bit of a risk. Anyway, I think we can let our guys go now. All right, let's get rid of our horse real quick. Over here, right, you can hang around over there. We need to plug this gap, which I'm sure I've got some acacia wood somewhere. Uh, let's just make some real quick. So just like that and like that. And then we are finally, after all this time, I think it was nearly two, two and a half months ago, I think I originally got these pandas in here. Um, I know we got pretty distracted with unorthodox blocks for a while, but it's time to let you guys out. You're free. You can come and explore. I really don't want to hurt them. You can come and explore the world. And let's not forget about the albino ones. Albino, albino, however we want to say it. It doesn't matter to me. That's it. Go and explore. Everything you see is yours. Uh, we may breed these guys up and get a few more in. But I think you know, we're going to have five different animals roaming around in here. Seven, actually, if you add the two foxes, which are still about. They haven't inhabited their new little home yet. But... It's kind of funny. I, I wonder if the polar bears are, are like the way things are here. Right, I'm pretty certain that there is no way for these guys to get out. But I'm going to have to do like a final check and see what's going on. Right, you're free. Go wherever you want. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's on his way, that one over there. So, yeah, I'm really, really proud of this project. Um, It's taken... A little while to do. Um, I think it was getting the idea was the biggest problem. As soon as I had the idea though. It just. You know the rest of it sort of flowed. Now we have been doing a lot. A lot of environmental work. A lot of work around vegetation. And all of that sort of stuff. Uh, for quite a long time. We haven't done any sort of major builds. Or anything like that. So in the next episode. I have got something that I want to do. Because at the moment, we can only really view this island by flying around. And they're, they're all still hovering around there. They're, I'm sure they'll uh, go and adventure out eventually. Yeah, so... You know, I, I, I want to actually build something. And what I want to build is a tower. Now, the tower we are going to build in the next episode. And what it's going to do is sit on the end of this little island here... And it's just going to give us a good overview of our panda sanctuary. And it also gives us a reason for that bridge to be there in the first place. Because I think I had originally said that I wanted to connect this bridge up to that side over there. But I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. So what I may do is actually raise this terrain up and... Yeah, in fact, actually, I think that's a really good idea. We raise this terrain up a little bit, so rather than a slow gradient down, it'll be a slow gradient upwards, probably exactly the same. So, you know, we'll just come to the same points and raise it up from there. So this will go up by three, and this will go up by two, and then that should be perfectly fine. And we're going to have a nice, really cool tower going on there, and that should suit everything perfectly. Uh, we're going to have to obviously naturalize this area a little bit. But what I think I'm going to do in between episodes is just get this bit laid out ready for us to jump straight into building this tower up. Uh, I need to come up with a design for it that is going to fit within the space that we have and also look really good and be high enough to see what's going on in here. But yeah, I'm really, really glad to say... That we are done with our panda sanctuary. I've been wanting to do a project like this for the longest time in Minecraft. So yeah I'm just really really glad that we've got it done now. So 
I really hope you've enjoyed the episode. I think it may wind up being a little bit shorter. I'm not sure. I think I've done some long little recording segments. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. And I will catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>